You talk about mental health. I yes. know that's really important to you. Yes, you had a is. personal story that really touched you. You met somebody in crisis, yes. a woman standing mm -hmm. on the edge of a bridge preparing to jump. Can you tell us more about that and how it affected you? <clears throat> Gets me choked up, sorry. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, it was a pretty powerful moment yeah, for it you. Was. It, it was. It, it, def it helped define for me mental health. So crossing an overpass over 217, and it was a woman climbing over the rail. And I thought, well, she's get, just getting a better look, right? Rationalize it out. I kept driving. I thought, no, 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 no. You got to do something. Nobody else will stop in this rush hour. So I turned the car around, went back. Luckily, another person had stopped. The lady had stopped and pulled her back across the rail. And then I, and I got her and I talked to her and I told her that she was loved, you know, and um, I could see uh, the distress in her face. She really wanted to jump. She wanted to end her life. And you know what? It drove home the point that this is real. Mental health issues are real. We're 44th in the nation in how we provide mental health help. And veterans in Oregon commit the highest rate of suicide out of any place in the nation. So mental health is a huge issue. You see it in the homeless population. It's out there. We've got to do something about it. Sorry. I see. This has really, <laughs> really moved you. What, it has. Um, we only have about 30 seconds. What would you do? Well, we've got to look at mental health and mental hospitals, you know, where we're going to treat people. Uh, the certificate of need has to be maybe taken a different look at in, in order to get these places, you know, built and, and carried through so that we can help our veterans and the rest of the population.